Hi everyone, Mark Lichtenfeld, Chief Income Strategist with the Oxford Club. Welcome to State of the Market. You know, interest rates are still near zero. A 10-year treasury is below 1%, which means I can lock up my money for 10 years and get paid 0.9%. Where do I sign? Me too, I am down. I am totally down. Lock me down. <laughs> How about banks? The average savings account pays 0.05%. The average one-year CD, 0.24%. Banker, please. It's tough enough to find decent interest rates or high yields in this market, and when you do find them, you need to be concerned about risk. There are plenty of high-yielding stocks out there, but the reality is many of them are garbage. That's why their yields are so high. The stocks have dropped or their yields are really in jeopardy. But not all high yields are trash. There are some companies out there that pay shareholders generous dividends, but they are also likely to continue to do so. So let's take a look at where you can find big but safe dividends. Arbor Realty Trust, ticker symbol ABR, is a mortgage REIT, meaning it invests in mortgages and pays the income out to shareholders. This stock has a big 9.4% dividend yield, and it just raised its quarterly dividend to 32 cents per share. It's the second raise in 2020 during a time when other mortgage REITs have slashed their payouts. Arbor has raised its dividend every year since 2013. So far in 2020, it's paid out $102 million in dividends while generating $124 million in net interest income. Now, mortgage REITs borrow money at lower short-term rates and they lend it out at higher longer-term rates. And the difference, minus expenses, is called net interest income. And that net interest income is how we determine if a mortgage REIT can afford its dividend. And Arbor Realty can. Wall Street expects the company to grow earnings by 8% per year over the next five years. And that should ensure the dividend not only continues to get paid, but very likely gets raised as well. Now, here's a super exciting company, Flushing Financial, ticker symbol FFIC. Now, when people talk about Tesla and Moderna, Facebook, and the other high flyers, they usually also mention this Queens, New York regional bank. Now, I'm being sarcastic, of course, but what is exciting is this company pays a rock solid 5.7% yield, and it has maintained or raised its dividend every year since 1997. Similar to mortgage REITs, we use net interest income to analyze the dividend safety of a bank. Flushing Financial generated $120 million in net interest income for the first three quarters of the year, and it paid out just $18 million. So net interest income is many times more than it paid in dividends. And this appears to be about as secure a dividend as you're going to find. The last one, Enterprise Products Partners, yields nearly 9%. Now, this is a master limited partnership which operates oil and gas pipelines. The company has raised its distribution for 22 years in a row. Now, dividends are called distributions when they're paid by master limited partnerships. In the first nine months of 2020, Enterprise Products Partners generated $4.8 billion in distributable free cash flow. And this is the measure of free cash flow we use when looking at master limited partnerships. That compares to $3 billion paid in distributions. So the company generated 60% more cash flow than it paid in distributions. And that, combined with a two-decade-plus history of annual distribution increases, makes this one of the safest high-yielding stocks you'll find. For more on how to achieve high yields and how to get rich with dividends, just click on the link below for a free hardcover copy of my international best-selling book, Get Rich with Dividends. I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. I'm Mark Lichtenfeld.